is this new G clip that is changing the way granite is installed worldwide? Does it work? How does it work? What does it do? How difficult is it to fit? Can I use it? What tools do I need? What are all these different products that you sell? What do I need for this particular application? How do all the components interact with each other? Will it make my job any easier or increase productivity? Will it improve the quality of my end product for my customers? These are the recurring questions asked by GClip customers since we launched a few years ago. After spending a lot of time answering customer queries individually, I have decided it is time to make a series of videos showing exactly what the GClip does. Everything we do is based around the patented G-Clip, which is an innovative new way to fasten various components to either natural granite or man-made quartz. The G-Clip is manufactured utilising spring steel and bent to an angle of less than 90 degrees. It is inserted into a slot on the underside of the granite and used to hold various components in place. The G-Clip is designed to deflect under pressure. As it deflects, it becomes even more tightly wedged. But once the pressure is relieved, the G-clip returns to its original position. The more downward pressure applied, the tighter the grip. Here we can see Glenn fastening an undermounted one and a half bowl sink in a display stand we use at trade shows. This sink has been clipped and unclipped literally hundreds of times. When Glenn stands in the sink, more than compensating for a bowl full of water and heavy pans, the G-clips become even more tightly wedged in the slots. However, when Glenn gets out of the sink, the clip will return to its original tension. This is the reason you don't have to use excessive force to insert the G-clip. All that is required is a light tap with a hammer to lock the G-clip into place. Due to the design of the G-clip, it is also removable. Tapping the curl of the tail releases the tension at the business end, causing the G-clip to spring out. What this means for us in practice is that whatever we do, we can undo. For example, replacing a damaged undermounted sink in situ, providing it was originally installed using the G-clip method, can be done in around half an hour, and that includes cleaning up the old silicon. The preferred method to cut the slots into which the G-clips are to be inserted is a wall chaser using only one diamond blade. The benefits over a handheld grinder are threefold. Firstly, and most importantly, is the dust extraction. You should take all reasonable precautions to protect your lungs. Additionally, our slots are guaranteed to be perpendicular to the work surface and cut to exactly the right depth of 15mm. All this, of course, can be achieved with a handheld grinder. I know fabricators who cut out and polish complex bowls by hand, and cutting slots accurately for these guys is not a problem. The wall chaser just makes life easier. The only modification Glenn has made to the wall chaser is to mark the centre of the blade at the side and front of the guard. Then, with a few extra reference marks during the layout, Glenn can pretty much get the slots where they need to be. As you view the other videos in the series, you will notice some slots not quite exactly where we intended to put them. Don't worry about this. One of the benefits of the G-clip method is that you do not have to be super accurate. There is always an acceptable tolerance of a few millimetres either way. If you do use a handheld grinder, ensuring the slots are 90 degrees to the work surface is not such a big problem either. Here we can see Glenn cutting three slots using a handheld grinder. The first slot in the middle is cut correctly with the diamond blade perpendicular to the work surface. The next slot is about 95 degrees and the last slot roughly 85 degrees. Glenn has done this to demonstrate how to change the angle of the G-clip to suit the slot you have cut. You can see Glenn making the necessary adjustments. Please remember to do this in a scrap piece of granite, not the piece someone has spent hours cutting and polishing. Also, please remember that the G-clip only needs a light tap to lock it into position. It doesn't have to be forced all the way home. Here we see Glenn applying a vinyl disc to the diamond blade, which makes an easy to see visual reference when gauging the depth of the slots. If enough customers ask for the vinyl disc, 
we will make them available on our website. In the past we have used white paint pens to mark the blades to good effect. Please note that the guard has been removed from the grinder only to facilitate viewing. Also note we recommend using a wall chaser for the reasons already outlined. When you do get your hands on the G-clip, spend 10 minutes experimenting on a scrap piece of granite. Like all the best ideas, it's very simple and very effective. Familiarise yourself with the G-clip. If you are either a fabricator or an installer, it will save you time and money and improve the quality of your work. That's about it for this introductory video. Now you know what a G-clip is, please take the time to view our other videos which show you various applications for the G-clip. Please feel free to comment, rate or subscribe to our videos. Your feedback is always welcome.